Assalamu alaikum. I'm here at the Northside Learning Center soccer practice. The guys are just about to scrimmage. I got the video on. Assalamu alaikum. Do you like this program? Yes. What do you like about it? Everything. How about you? Me? Yeah. What do you like about Coach Abdelilah? He's good. Does he know what he's talking about? Yeah, I know. Are you improving your soccer? Yeah. How about you? I definitely not. Definitely, right? Uh, my name is Abdullah Al Dubai. Uh, I am originally from Yemen. I came to the U.S. six years ago, 2004. And before I came here, I had been playing national team soccer for Yemen, um, U17 for Eritrea, and so on. So I came to this country. I played for Le Moyne College for three years and graduated with a degree in business administration and a minor in economics in 2008. I am the assistant director, actually volunteer assistant director, um, and I do also soccer program, uh, I manage the soccer program. It's how you help the refugees play soccer while they are doing good at school. If you just go walk across the road, you'll see people playing soccer. If you want to just point, you will see a lot of people go here. Even if they don't go to the Northside Learning Center, we try to bring them. Because you will see like how talented these people are, very talented, but they need someone to guide them, to say, well, come. We can organize a very good soccer program. Maybe in the future you can be a big soccer player. You can go to school for free. And then you can also pay back to this country. You can help the country too. You can help other people. Why it's very important to put them in a soccer plan? Because if they go to school and play soccer at the same time, if they know they are important and then what they're doing is very important, they will keep continuing this, doing this continuously. And, and they will not think about other, like, uh, let's say, other stuff other than like playing soccer and being successful at school. Plus also I found out that the, the program is not only open to refugees. One of the, the goals also, these, these refugees, they should integrate uh, with, with, with the people here in the US. Uh, and then we have 70%, um, 60 to 70% refugees, but the other people are non-refugees. And then if you see the communication between them, that's something like you, like priceless when you see them well, if you see them in classrooms, sometimes the communication is not that well. That, but come see in the soccer field. It, it, unbelievable, I mean. They learn a lot. You'll see they have a goal to achieve, to be successful at school, because they already know what's the goal behind to bring them here and then play soccer and then go to school. The goal of the program, the soccer program, is not only to have one team. Uh, it's to have like four teams. I call it level A, B, C, and D. Level A you go with 18 plus, then you have level B you go uh, from 15 to 17 years old, and then we have level C which is, we have it now, it's 11 years old to 14 years old, which is we have now 24 to 28 kids. And then you have the last level which is level D from 8 to 10. So if you want to run a very well organized and professional program, uh, you have to know first what you have to do. You have to understand the basic concept of soccer, how to coach those ages, those young ages. There's a lot of equipment to buy, which is we cannot afford at this point, but I am basically doing um, according to what's available to us, which is like, you know, buying like cones, soccer balls, and you know, pennies for like practices and you know, something like that, and trying to play from time to another like friendly games with some friends so they feel like they are competing some other teams but if you go like if you wanna run these four programs which is four levels you need staff to help you you need um, you need like coach and assistant coach and then this is for if you talk about four levels you need four coaches with four assistant coaches so they come it's very tough to find people there's people who wants to volunteer their time but it's very tough for consistency. You wanna go long run, so you have to have a budget so you can pay those people to achieve the goal, to also 
implement your, you know, your, your let's say, plan. But I'm really happy with what we are doing. We need a, I mean, we got a lot of support from the team here that we're going to provide whatever we have. Just we have to start this uh, program and then we have to make this kid successful. That's our plan.